Yo, this is Kanye Tether, straight from Shot Town. The Rock is definitely in the building, and I'm still with my dog, DJ Dells. What's good, your boy, DJ Dells from the SneakerAddict.com. Brand new sneaker discussion video slash music review on Kanye West's new song, Facts. I wanted to sit back and let this song marinate for about three to four days before speaking about it because I wanted to see if Kanye would like say something about the song after Kim released it on New Year's Day. I heard it and I just could not believe <laughs> that Kanye was going to start the new year off with this kind of sound, which to me was whack. I thought the song was whack. And some people say, oh, it's just him having fun. Nah, man, you are one of the greatest artists ever for this generation. When you put out a new record and you've been quiet for a hot minute, you gotta hit him with that big record. You are this generation's Jay-Z, Biggie. You know, you are a major artist. One of the best of this generation and a living legend right now. You don't put out a record like that. And in my opinion, he's never put out a whack record ever. Even when he's jumped on records, like when he's been a feature on other people's records. It's always dope. All these years he's put out music, you have to stay at a certain level. You know, you can't be putting out something like that to set off the year. You're gonna put out new music and you sounding like what everyone sounds like. Ugh. Horrible. Very disappointed when I heard that record. And that's my review on the actual song. When I first heard it, my reaction to it, I was like, this sounds whack. The lyrics are whack. There's nothing sonic about it except Guile saying Sonic, you know, and all that. <laughs> the record's whack. And hopefully Kanye doesn't put out no more whack music because one song is enough, you know. All Day was a dope record, but... That record, I'm pretty sure, was French Montana's record, and then he made it his own record. That's what I'm pretty sure happened. I'm not 100%, but I'm about 98% sure that's what happened with All Day. That was originally French Montana's record. Um, as I said, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm about 99, all right? And that kind of activity is not something we're used to seeing with Kanye West. Now, as far as the shoes, I did a video when Kanye was, I think, on Sway, and he was on a rant talking about how him and Don C, they made Jordan Brand hot. Listen to that after this, because this is something he's been doing for a while. He's been on this shit for a hot minute. Ever since he left Nike, he's been salty and pissed off. He's with Adidas now, he's doing great, and he's still pissed off. And that's where I don't understand why you still pissed off when you've got shoes like this shoe right here and this shoe right here that's doing so well. And, and then you got the 750s. Those boots, the, the 950s, they're not doing that well. You could buy them for under retail, especially on eBay. The clothing didn't do too well, but that's because he sold them for like real ridiculous prices. You can find those for under retail. But these shoes are doing real well. They're flying off the shelves. But he's not making a lot of pairs of them. So for him to go on this whole thing that he jumped over the jump, man, how many pairs are they actually making? They're not making that many pairs. They're at barely any retailers. You're not selling that many pairs. Just this shoe alone jumped, not even jumped, crushed the Yeezy shoe that Adidas put out. They made about a million pairs of this shoe and it sold out. It may not have sold out like that, but it sold out. <laughs> you can't really find these anymore. Maybe you'll be lucky, you'll see one or two pairs sitting somewhere. But there's no way this shoe and all the other shoes put together that Adidas released in 2015 can match up with all the sales that Jordan Brand has put out that Nike has put out. I guarantee you LeBron sold more pairs than Kanye West because they made a lot of pairs. They were sitting on the shelves, a lot of the Jordans, a lot of the LeBrons, but trust me, people are buying LeBron's sneaker. 
I, I'm telling you, people are buying LeBron sneakers. You guys gotta understand that they're making a lot of his shoes, all the different colorways. How many kids are buying those shoes to play basketball in? How many adults are buying LeBron shoes to play basketball in? There's a lot of people buying them. They are not making that kind of quantity when it comes to this shoe or the 750. They are not. They make such a small amount that it's like scarce out there. That's why you got these shoes that are selling for so much money on a resale tip because you can't find them. They didn't make that many. If they made a lot of them, they wouldn't be reselling for that much money. That's why Jordans are sitting on the shelves because of the fact that they're making enough pairs now where the resellers aren't able to make money anymore because they've made enough pairs for us consumers to buy. And Adidas isn't mass producing the shoe because they know that they're using Kanye for more than just his shoe. They're using Kanye to make the brand a more popular brand, you know, because Kanye is a huge, I know a lot of people like to say hip hop artist, but he's a pop artist too. So you have one of the biggest pop artists, you have him signed to your brand, any shoe he wears, people are just dick riding and they get super hyped up. Like for instance, the Ultra Boost shoe, you can find in any colorway but the colorway in white and they sold a ton of those sneakers. They are not making that many pairs of all these Kanye shoes. So for him to say he jumped over the Jumpman, let's put the Jumpman here. He didn't even jump over the LeBron. There's no way that Adidas sold more pairs of the Yeezy shoe. We'll say this model and the 750. There's no way that they sold more shoes than LeBron James in 2015. Absolutely no way. Because they're not making that many shoes. You can tell by the resale market. If they were making a lot of pairs, the shoes would not be selling for the amount of money that they're selling for. It's obvious. I've seen the markets going up and down as far as with brands. And I know who's selling a lot of units and who isn't. You can tell by the resale market. When the shoes resell for a lot of money, it's because there's high demand and there's no supply for the shoe. And that's the case with these right here. And the sneaker community, like the quote unquote sneaker head, sneaker community, yeah, a lot of them are gassing up Kanye West shoe because they're making money off of it. Of course, you're gonna gas up whoever is making you money. You're gonna say, oh yeah, yeah, you know, it's all about Yeezy, it's all about Yeezy because they put money in your pocket. But as far as jumping over until this shoe is selling millions and millions of pairs, there is no way this thing could even stand near Jordan. And he's in a great relationship right now, you know? I mean, he's doing his thing. Look what he's doing for Adidas. Look what Adidas is doing for him. It's a beautiful relationship, but he can't stop talking about Nike. Like, you know, maybe deep down inside he misses Nike, you know? I mean, Nike is Nike. Adidas is fantastic. Don't get it twisted, but Nike's number one, you know? They're number one right now. You never know. Adidas or another brand may overthrow Nike, but numbers don't lie. And Nike is on top. I really think Kanye needs to stop focusing so much on Nike. I really would hope Kanye would start focusing more on music and not fashion. I think that the whole fashion thing is ruining his music career. And it happens to a lot of artists once they start messing with other stuff like acting and then they stop putting out music for a while they come back and the music sucks and i think that this may be another case except him going from acting and then going back to music he's going from fashion back to music and i hope i'm wrong because I'm a die-hard Kanye West fan. I was playing his records before he even had an album out when he was going to Def Jam with stacks of CDs trying to have DJs play his music on mixtapes. That's how far I go back when it comes to Kanye West. Don't get it twisted. 
I'm not hating on him at all. You heard the intro. The man's literally done recorded radio drops for me. I'm a fan of him, a supporter, but very disappointed in the record. And as far as my opinion, stop mentioning your ex. Stop mentioning Nike. You got a great relationship with Adidas. Love Adidas. You know, amazing work is coming out of this whole deal that Kanye did with Adidas. This is amazing shit. I mean, Adi Adidas is really on the rise. There, you know, this there is no ceiling for Adidas right now, and he needs to stop talking about his ex so much because that's what I look at. I, I feel like Kanye, deep down inside, loves Nike so much he can't stop talking about Nike. You know. Leave your comments on that analogy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give that a good old thumbs up buddy if you loved it. Definitely appreciate it. Goes a long way. And share this. Let your friends and family know about this on Facebook so they can comment in your Facebook comments and uh, see what they think about this whole thing. Everyone be great out there. Watch my top 50 of 2015. That will be in the description box below. And also I will put my video from a year or so ago where I talk about Kanye West and him saying that he jumped over the jump man last year, the year before that. It was a very dope video. Check all that out. Thanks for watching and we out.